Hey guys, I've got our new 2000 series control here. We've got it installed on a Bridgeport Nemo. I've got a sketch in my hand, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a part using our conversational assistant. From the home screen, open Alexis, our conversational package. And from here, the first thing I'm going to do is define my stock. I'm going to define this as a square of width 5 by 5 and a thickness of Oh, let's do 375 here. Now that I've got my stock defined, I can go ahead and add some operations to this. The first thing I'm going to do is a circular pocket. I'll select the center of my geometry, drag this out to visually see what I've got, and then I can define a radius for this pocket. I'm going to set my depth to just a little bit below the full depth of material. I've got a couple of different strategies to cut here for different applications, but we're going to set this up to just remove the outside bit to do to uh, cut out like a center plug. Select my tool, and this operation is pretty well set to go. Next up, I'll do another circular pocket, and this is just for the shoulder of this motor flange. I can set the radius here again. And then I'll set up the, just the outside edge here so we don't pocket the entire core. Um, and we'll change our strategy to be the same as that other pocket we did. And this operation looks all set. Okay, next we'll add another operation here for uh, drilling. We'll do a circular pattern. And I'm going to pull this out so I can see what I've got. And then I'll type in the actual radius of what my bolt pattern is. Um, we're going to do four holes. And then that's still centered with a start angle of 45. I can now see what it's going to look like, set the diameter of my hole, set the depth of what I want it to drill to. You can easily look at your stock and see what that's going to do. And I can, I can tell that I want to push that a little farther through to, to fully clear the chip. Next, we'll do another drilling operation. This one will be very similar to the first one, but we'll do a offset for it. So we'll do a radius of 1.97 four holes centered at the same spot and then we'll do our start angle at uh, 52.75 set our diameter set our depth to the same and this looks this looks great now I'm gonna do an outside contour we'll do a rectangle I'll define the width and the height and we'll do that centered and then do a chamfer on the outside corners uh, this looks shows you a quick simulation I'll set the depth to what I want it to be and that's that Now once you've got all your operations set up the way you want, you can run a simulation of the whole machine cycle. And I can see what the strategy is going to be, what the order of operations is going to look like. I can speed this up and do a quick simulation of my machine process before I actually start cutting chips. Now the last thing I'm going to do is actually set up the operation for the other side of this part. I'll set this up with a new setup and then I'll do the stock position to be from the bottom of the same geometry. Now that I've got a new stock location, I can do another milling operation and we'll do a contour from side B here. And I'll set up a square the same as we did from the top with the same chamfered corners. And we can immediately see what that's going to look like. And I can push the depth just a little farther down here to cut all the way through. Now that I'm done with all my operations, I can actually generate the code. And as soon as I click generate here, the code is actually posted into the CNC software. And I'm immediately ready to do my setup and run this part.